Well, today we're out here on Barren River Lake with Tom Perkins. And Tom, you love to crappie fish, but you told me that August is one of your favorite months, which most people who crappie fish would think that's the craziest thing they've ever heard. Yeah, you can, ju you can just about plan how many you're gonna catch each day. When the, the dog days of summer where it's every day's hot, it's more predictable. I need to net again. There we go. And you're fishing two pound test. Yes, sir. And you're throwing a little white jig there. And for you, you say there's no really reason to throw too much else, huh? No, I can't throw anything else. That's the only thing I got. <laughs> Limited by your tackle box, but if you're catching fish, then there's no limitations at all. Yeah, I've been fishing that since 1990. And I was like every other crappie fisherman in the world, had a box with 40 colors. Spent half my time going from one color to the other. And the technique that you like is just drop it to the bottom right there in the brush pile and just reel it up, just like that, right there. Or just like that. Another decent one. Easy, buddy. There you go. Just like that. But they're good, good and healthy down here this year. They sure are. They look great. But the thing about this technique is once you figure out what depth they are, if you have enough brush piles, you can just move from spot to spot to spot with the... You got another one? Yes, sir, I don't need the net. Well, it looks like there's all sizes in here. That's good. Yep, just caught him two years early. And I don't like to put my crappie right back where I'm fishing. I like to toss them out from the boat a little bit. I think they tell on you. Oh, just like yeah. if you get one halfway to the boat and he gets off, it'll slow, really slow your brush pile down. You just. You do that a couple times, you might as well move. A tattletale, huh? Yeah. I think they give off some kind of scent. I have no way to prove it. Just my experience, if you get let one get off, they really slow down. Looks like a good one. Yeah. You got it. Now that's a good keeper. See, that one's 10 inches. We just caught them better fish. But he's wide. He's got shoulders on him. That's the kind you like if, you, if you're hungry. Yep. I'll take a thick one over a long one any day. Yes, sir. You can see fish suspended over the top out there. It's gonna be about exactly 15 feet, isn't it? Just about, almost like I planned it. <laughs> and you can see on, on this how much the brush comes up off the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's a key to having a good brush pile. Because if a cold front comes in or a high pressure system comes in, then fish got to move in the water column. Mm -hmm. If your brush pile is flat, they've got to move away from it. If your brush pile's got limbs that stick up, they can move up and down in the water column and they'll stay there. That's perfect. Like I say, we should catch a black crappie here. Let me get that net. I got it. I got you called it. Yeah. Hey, when you can call what type of, what species of crappie you're gonna catch, that's pretty good. And you can see that the way to tell the difference on a black and a white crappie, you don't have the vertical lines. They're kind of just scattered in a little bit everywhere. You see how these, these little black marks are just everywhere on that fish. The way I tell them, if I really want to know, you can count these spikes. Yeah. And a black will have set at least seven. Mm -hmm. A white will just have six. Okay. See how the crappie's eyes are set on top of its head? Mm -hmm. Its mouth's even made to go up. A crappie will never feed down. You know, we're reeling by that fish in that brush pile, and as the bait comes out, he comes out of that brush and eats the bait. If you fish below them, you'll never catch one. Yeah. Because they won't look down because their eyes are on top of their head. A bass will look down, crappie will never eat anything below it. That's pretty good, calling, calling his species before he even turns the engine off. Yeah, I'll have to get my diver to move to the next pile before we move. <laughs> you better radio in and tell him where we're going. You know, it's not like we went from fishing four feet to, to 15 feet and you change the species. We're at the exact same depth, just... That was a big flat over there. It's probably 100 yards to the channel. Mm -hmm. Here, it's 30 yards to the channel. You know, as we come in, we saw fish suspended over the channel over there, and they're really hard to catch. But the ones that are over this brush pile or in this brush pile up on this, the top of the point will eat. Apparently so. There he is again. This is a pretty good one here. See, there's a white mixed in right in with them. Those fins will get you, won't they? Mm-hmm. 
Another nice fish, though. It is a nice fish. I think they'll average about 11 inches down here, on the average. Yeah. Net? No, he feels like he's a little one. Look how little that is. Mm -hmm. Two years early. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, that's about uh, that's about as little as they get right there. Got me, a, net that got me a spot now. They're getting bigger. Yeah. If the next one is as much bigger than the first one is, yeah, this one, gonna then I'm going to have a, here in a minute. Have a good one. That one there is going to be close, isn't he? Nah, he'll make it. And there's another black crappie. See, he's 10 inches. 10 inch. He just looks. Yeah. Looks small. You've been throwing those 12 and 13 inch fish in there. It makes mine look so small. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that a good fish? Yeah, he's there he come loose. Look at that. It's a good one. That fish there was so close to the structure that he got got yep. in there after he bit. He pulled me in. Uh-oh. He, he took your bait there, didn't he? Yep. Nice fat fish, yo. That's a really nice fish. Yep. Another black crappie, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Some of these brush piles that I fish, the core put out, you know, or the fish and game department. And you can find you know, you can You can go website. on the internet, and they're marked. Yeah. Most of mine at No Lynn are marked where people found them and put them on the internet. Yeah. There's no secret spots now. Not with the, the internet and electronics. Got one now. That one there, did that hit on the way down? Yeah. You never even got down to where you wanted to go. There you go. You called it again. Yeah. I didn't even know you had one. No, you got one. You got a good one. Nice fish. Yep, that's a nice fish. Not close to deep water, and you got your white crappie again. Mm -hmm. 